All right, friends, I've got a good one for you here today. Many people have asked me this, and the answer is yes. What's the question? The question is, can I use one audio device to record and a different audio device to play back when in a DAW? Well, I will tell you the answer is yes. I'm going to show you how to do this on Windows. I am in Studio One. Of course, I have multiple devices here, but I'm going to choose, yes, Windows Audio. Now, this is the next or most important thing, okay? When I'm doing this, I want to click Control Panel. I do not want to be in exclusive mode, okay? So I often, too, like to take my latency down if my com computer can handle it to as low as it could go. Next, playback device. Right now I have hooked up a Zoom L8. Uh, I love it. Great mixer, has a lot of features. And then I also like to record through my Focusrite 6i6. So you set up your playback device, you choose your recording device. Uh, yes, they can be different interfaces. Now, you can only choose one, like I can't choose multiples. So you can only choose one device for playback, one device for recording. That is the limitation here, okay? I'm gonna hit close and OK. If you want to have more than two devices, then I suggest the ASIO for all driver that will allow you to do that instead. Let me hit OK and show you how to set this up. So now I'm going to choose a new song. I'll just leave it as is. Here I go. I am now going to go straight to, and there's several ways to do it. I, I usually do it from my mix window. I got to set my ins and my outs. My inputs, that's what I'm recording through. I am actually, it says right here, you can kind of see it right up here, analog, one plus, analog, and so on. That is the focus right that we chose earlier. All of these other things here, I just don't need because I'm not going to be recording through any of those. Those are from an old setup, mono and mono. Now, if I want to set up or stereo recording, I could say input one plus two and record in stereo if I'm going to be recording with two microphones and hit apply. There it is. My focus right is set up again right here. I like to rename these very specifically because I work with a lot of interfaces for different reasons. So I might want to say focus right channel one and then here focus right two and then here I'm just double clicking and typing in focus right uh, one plus two. So stereo. That of course is that again that's the recording device. Windows Audio is simply the controller in this situation here. Now on my Zoom I actually have a, a couple options because uh, I'm not going to be listening back on any of these so I'm going to remove them. I do need to add stereo and unfortunately because of how it's set up my Zoom has the capability to uh, do four tracks, okay, four outputs, one and two and three and four, because it's being used in this fashion, it's only letting me use one and two, okay, so right there, it will not allow me to add three and four as an output as well, so there are some limitations to doing it this way, but if you're needing a quick setup, there it is, so there's my inputs, there's my outputs, I'm going to hit apply, now, if you think you're done, you're not, I'm going to show something that you want to check out. Now, my latency is going crazy already right here. So I need to go back to the start menu. I need to configure audio device. Probably change that back to, let me pull it up here, 20 for now. Okay. And I need to go to manage audio devices. This is something that no one ever probably tells you. So I'm going to tell you. You're going to go to the focus right in your wind because Windows has the drivers for each of these. And you need to make sure because this will not work if both devices do not match. And I'll show you. I go to properties, I go to advanced. Their default format has to match the bit depth. Okay. Has to match the, the bit depth and the capture rate. 24 bit 48 is what I have. And you may have multiple choices here. Okay. I want to go as high as my. Um, you know, smallest device can allow. Do not use exclusive mode. These things will keep this process from working. Okay, so that's what you want set for 
both that this is on playback right now, but it matters. You want to do this both on playback as well as on recording. Notice this four channels, even though it won't, me, won't let me use all four channels while it's I'm using Windows Audio, I, I, I just selected it anyway. And then take away exclusive mode. All right. Now that's just playback. Go to recording. Same thing. Properties. Advanced. I also want that to be 2448. Want it to be that. Okay. Now I'm going to hit OK. Uh, I'm just using two channels right now. It's a six I six. I could bump it up. Uh, and I'm going to hit OK. Make sure exclusive mode is unchecked. I'm going to go to the zoom device. I'm going to go to properties, advanced. Yes, it has 12 channels. Again, it's not going to let me use all of those right now because I'm not, it's not my recording device set up, but still set it for 2448 uncheck exclusive mode. All of those things have to match in order for you to use both interfaces at the same time. They have to be recording and playing back with the matching bit depth and capture rate. All right, hopefully you have learned something from this. I want to go now to the song itself. If I go to add a track here, I can either add uh, a mono or whatever. And notice here's my, my choices, channel one or channel two. If I change this to stereo, I can use uh, one and two. Okay, I typically just have one mic at a time I'm recording. There it is. And then uh, I'm ready to plug a mic in and start recording. And it's going to play back and I can monitor on my other. My um, output is going to be on the Zoom right here, line one and two. I have an AT2020 set up now on my focus right, uh, and I'm in channel one. As you can see, I'm getting level right here. If I hit record, here I go. There it is, speak, 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 hey, 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 yo, yo, yo. It's recording just fine. And if I play it back and monitor, uh, I can actually monitor on both devices, but I, whoop, there's what I just recorded. Hit playback, I can now hear it back on my Zoom. And you can always check your levels in here. Go to inputs. You could see the inputs, what's coming through right there as well. Okay, on channel one. All right, so hopefully you've learned something here. If you like what you've seen, give it a try. Try out with a couple interfaces. I usually prefer using the ASAO for all device. The only issue I have found with that is it does downsample everything to 44.1. So if that bothers you and you want to be at a higher rate right now, since I set both my devices at 48, I'm going to go right here. 4824 is what I'm recording at. There it is. Those are my uh, choices that I'm using to record with. Good luck. Have fun. Hit like and share.